Okay, I personally prefer to trade higher time frame on, on gold uh, because of the volatility. Uh, there's a tendency for, for shadows to be long on a low time frame. And usually these are the shadows that uh, will hit uh, my stop loss before it uh, goes in my direction. So that is uh, my personal preference uh, to, to trade on a higher time frame for gold. Uh, but if I do decide my trade on lower time frame like H1 or lower, then the, a way for me to counter all this shadow would be uh, set a wider stop loss. But if I set a wider stop loss, then it comes the next question is my risk reward may not be so favorable. So I have to balance all these different factors and decide whether I would go ahead with the trade or not. So hopefully, uh, whatever I shared earlier is, is to give you some insights to how I decide my trade. So back to uh, go. Uh, go benefit from a US dollar weakness after non-farm payroll. And then uh, now price is consolidating in the last almost uh, more than 12 hours. More than 12, it's 15-16 uh, hours. Uh, very tight consolidation and then uh, a whipsaw going upwards. You see the shadow. So anyone who has uh, placed pending order above the tight consolidation uh, most likely would get hit by this shadow. Uh, this is one reason why I don't like to put pending order when I'm trading breakouts. I prefer to wait for the candle to close. Then I enter at the next candle. So this is the consolidation. For, for me, the goal entry signal would be uh, 2 as well. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so that it's easier to see. The first one is if the candle close at uh, 1279 or lower that would my that would be my entry to go short and of course if it close higher that would be my entry to go long as well one two eight two or higher that would fulfill my criteria for long So that's my take for for go. Again, a, a strader kind of uh, opportunity. Uh, okay, let me quickly 